In this tutorial, we will write the traditional hello world using the struts2 framework and learn some more about the important elements that are part of this web application framework. These are our basic steps. We will copy and rename the struts2 hello basic to struts2 hello world and rename all the config elements. Then we will change the overall structure so that we have an index.html that redirects to a menu.jsp page. We will add the index.action URL to the menu.jsp and make sure it works. We test it. Then we will create a server page input form and we will create our struts action and we will create a custom hello page and make use of a stored model class that would accept the name and present the user with a custom hello world page. So let's move over to Eclipse. First we're gonna copy our struts to template project. We're gonna call it hello world. Now we're going to make sure that all the config elements also have the new name of struts to hello world. We will rename all of them. Now let's make sure that it still runs properly. That looks good. Okay, so now basically we're going to start with an index.html that will redirect to a menu page. So essentially we use some refresh logic here that will redirect to our menu.action. So we will add that to our struts.xml. We will add a namespace. We will use the root. Here we use a menu action that will forward to menu slash menu JSP. So we're going to go back to web content and add it in there. Now we need to create the menu.jsp. So this is now our menu.jsp. So essentially this will present us with a link to hello world name action. So now we're going to pull out that section of struts.xml. But before we get to reconfiguring our struts.xml, let's create our hello world message store and our hello world action. So we'll create a new package. We'll add the message store. Add a stored message. We will add our hello world action class. It will extend action support. So now we will include our message store. We will also add the string name that the user will enter for the input form. Create getters and setters. Now we will add the action class execute method. Return success. We'll get the message store. We'll set a custom greeting. For our specific name, need to add that as a string. Add a getter. So this is our hello world action that will get the name from the input form, also store a message store and return control to the specified JSP form in our struts XML config. So let's go over to our struts XML config. We're no longer going to use the index JSP. Going to the menu, which goes to hello world slash name. So here we need to add 
the action to L struts.xml. But since this is tied explicitly to our action, we are going to define a sub configuration file here called hello world.xml and include it in our struts XML. And this is what our hello world.xml will look like. We are going to define a package name of hello world and a namespace of hello world. It's going to extend the struts default. Here we're going to create our action name, which will simply forward to a name entry JSP. And here we're going to define our action class with the action name of hello world, and it will forward it to the hello world slash hello world JSP. So the next things on our list is to create these two ASP files. We'll create the name entry ASP file first. Just going to cut and paste it in here. As you can see, we use the struts tags, which is defined with, with the prefix of S, and we have our form action called hello world. And it accepts a name entry text field of your name and it sends it to the hello world action. So let's look at the hello world action. The hello world action is going to forward it to the hello world.jsp. So we're going to create the hello world.jsp next. And this is what the hello world JSP will look like. We are going to display the message store message property and then we're also going to display a custom greeting as we've defined in our action and if you look at our action all we are basically setting in the custom greeting is the name that we get back from the form now we got to go back and look into our struts xml you can see we now have a sub xml that we need to include in our struts xml so we will do this after the package we will include our sub xml definition so this should pull in this section of the hello world XML and let's see what else do we need to do we probably need to go back to look at our web.xml as well this we're no longer going to use the index.jsp we're just going to go straight to the index.html and I think that's all our elements so let's go ahead and test it see if we can run it restart the server All right, there we saw the HTTP or HTML refresh redirecting to our menu page. And here we have our Hello World link. So we'll click on Hello World. And now we enter our name, submit, and excellent. We've got our custom Hello World greeting page. And from the model, we got back the Hello Struts to user. And from the input, we got back Baby Shark. Everything works end to end. Since the video is running long at this stage, we will stop the video now and do our review in the next video. See you in the next video.